Dokkan Global has been in one hell of a long maintenance. Let's dive in and see what they all added, shall we? Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. So, Global had one heck of a long maintenance uh, last night into this morning. Then it's been prolonged a few different times. So, we're going to look at what they all did today. I was stuck at work all day, so I'm trying to get this video tonight yet. But if we go over to, uh, let's just hop over to the Dokkan Wiki. Shout out to the Dokkan Wiki. Um, we go to campaign here. We can see some of the stuff that they added, right? So, as of uh, before the maintenance went on last night, a lot of us were not able to hop in last night. They were doing maintenance until this morning around like 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, my time. But we had the Elder, uh, you know, Guidance stage. We had this stage. We had Super Battle Road, all that good stuff. Ex excuse me, Explosive Chain Battle was alive. But now we have our new areas for Chapter 5 Part 2. So we have new stages up to Stage 8. I still think for link leveling, you want to stick with 31.4, right? Uh, 31. Area 31, Stage 4. You have both chances at green and blue gems. Give stones your first time through. Very good uh, stage to auto link level. So in case you were uh, wondering about that, I do have a whole video on just that stage alone. It's very good for link leveling. Used your boost. Um, you know how you get boost stamina every day? Use them boost items on 31.4. To get some of your link levels done, it is well worth it. You'll hear a lot of other YouTubers say that too. We're token YouTubers. It's well worth it, guys. For sure do it. But go and get your stones collected for these new stages. We have up to stage 8 now. Um, little tip too. You don't have to go through each stage on easy, normal, or Z hard, whatever it is. Just jump straight to Z hard. You get all three done and all three stones too as well. So that's pretty cool. We got a new stage there. Let's see what else they added. Obviously, the big update was the update 5.15.0 information, if we check out here. So, update 5.150 has been released. Very nice. The update details are as follows. Implemented the link skill orb, which we all knew was coming, right? It was in the news beforehand. We knew it was coming. JP has it. Um, link skill orbs, which can be used to level up any link skill, are here. <sighs> Don't get too excited. We did get some in the gift box uh, upon login tonight, I noticed, uh, when I hopped into my game. But it sounds like the rest of it is going to be, you have to pay. You have to pay to get these, uh, you know, link skill orbs to raise levels. Worth it? No. Just grind them out. You'll get them. Um, there are three types of link skill orbs, and then the type num of and number of link skill orbs required to level up. And link skill may vary depending on the link skill's level. So, you know, the farther along you are, the more difficult, right? Link skill orbs can be used at the growth section on the team menu. For more details, please navigate the following path. Menu, help, how to play, items, link skill orbs. Done, right? So here's what they look like, by the way. So these are your, like, 9 and 10, I imagine. These are a little easier, lower levels, and easy 1, 2, 3, 4, blue, whatever. But we also have some fixes. Um, optimize the display of link skill effects so that it is possible to check a link skill effect at level 10. Very nice. A little effect there. If a link skill is at level 9 or below, its effect at level 10 will also be displayed when you check its effect. Very nice. Uh, number 3. Added filter options for the filter function for the character page. The options level up possible and all at max level for the link skill level up section has been added. Very cool to see all your link level 10 units and stuff like that. Very nice little feature. And number four, fix the issue with the featured sections of summon events. At the featured sections of summon events, the play button was not displayed on certain characters' pages. This issue has now been fixed. Big shout out to you, Akatsuki and Bandai. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, looks like they adjusted the user interface. Great. Adjusted certain descriptions. Great. And fixed some bugs. In addition, a display issue with the pop-up that appears after the tapping the growth button. Yada, yada, yada. We don't care. <laughs> right? We're just going... We're going for the meat and potatoes of this whole update. But this is kind of cool. Now in Global, we are uh, getting slowly caught up to JP. Now, if you have been living under a rock and don't know, but JP and Global are getting synced up probably within the next, hopefully, year. I'm going to give it about a year's time frame, but we'll see. Hopefully, it's sooner. Fingers crossed. But thank goodness the game's finally getting synced up. But that is happening in the future. So any kind of updates like this that Global gets is very, very cool. But there is your update point, or 5.15.0 information on that. So nothing too big. We'll dive more into the link skills here in just a second. Um, also, we have Exploding Gratitude Dokkan Thank You Special Missions Part 2, so you can get these all done, but there's lots of uh, daily missions, uh, Hercule statues, training items, 
Awakening Metals, Dozing Kai's, Incredible Gems, more uh, support and uh, items like that. Hourglass stones, training items, but get this stuff done. They make these mich missions and uh, stuff pretty easy to get done and grind out just by playing the game. So go through your stages, you know, do your link leveling, do your boost stages. I'm 31 4, like I mentioned. Uh, maybe hop into some Dokkan events if you have any characters that you want to awaken for or anything like that. But um, up to 26 Dragon Zones, three Dokkan Thank You Celebration gift cards, six, and two Dokkan Festival tickets can be obtained. So that's pretty cool. Uh, get one more chance at uh, Goku, I believe. He can use this Dokkan Fest for. So there are going to be people in the world that get lucky and pull Goku on a single like that. So if that's you, hats off. <laughs> that's awesome. So we have new missions, which is very cool. Um, get those done, grind them out, because we have heroes right around the corner, and it's going to be lit, I'm telling you right now. Um, looks like we have the Exploding Gratitude Dokkan Thank You Celebration Part 2. So, Part 2 is now on. Various events will become available, right? This is uh, pretty much all the information. We are going to talk about this guy in a second, but uh, don't forget to obtain Dokkan Thank You Celebration Gift Card 6 through the login bonus, right? So go ahead and log into the game. You get all that stuff. Very, very simple to do. Um, the event missions in the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. Use the gift cards uh, to recruit powerful SSR characters at Baba's shop. Yep, yep, yep. I actually need to go do that. I have all those units rainbowed, but I might... Uh, there's probably some units I can pick up to use for other units with the same name, if that makes sense. But make sure you do that in the Baba's shop, too. You can pick certain characters, but... Uh, in addition, don't miss out on other events, including the 46th World Tournament is coming, the 24th Baton Battle, and the Overflowing Gratitude Dokkan Festival. That is this right here. Overflowing gratitude. As you can see, our boy from uh, Saiyan Day, God Goku, is coming back. Along with one of my favorite T or, uh, Dokkan Fest TURs, World Tournament Goku. So this is from Thursday 11-16 tomorrow. It's currently Wednesday the 15th for me. And that goes until the 29th. Now, just keep in mind, before you go nuts on this uh, this banner coming up i know god goku is here but also remember that we're getting heroes very very soon we should have information within the next few days for sure uh if not tomorrow night or friday so just keep that in mind please keep that in mind because heroes is going to be lit this year i'm telling you guys right now overflowing gratitude packs are for sale if you do spend money on the game go ahead and maybe look at those overflowing gratitude packs i'm sure they're gonna have some good deals global typically does have some okay deals when it comes to the packs and stuff so go ahead and take a peek at that I'm guessing this banner is going to be pretty good. I mean, these two units are top tier, so that's very good news, right, for the game and new players. Um, even the existing players that can pull them, so keep an eye on that. We'll, we'll keep an eye and see how the banner actually looks. Looks like we have Dragonstones on sale as well from the 16th to only the 18th and then 21st. That's weird. Okay. That's actually very, very odd, isn't it? Huh, okay, sorry, just a little uh, confused by that. I guess with Heroes coming and that banner too. Okay, well, you have a very short period of time, it looks like, to buy Dragonstones. They are in sale, so make sure to do that if you need Dragonstones and if you spend money in the game. Keep in mind, real quick disclaimer, this is a gotcha game. Be careful with your money. They're designed to get you to spend money and lose money, <laughs> right? So be careful. Spend your stones wisely. Spend your money wisely. If you spend money in the game, if you're free to play, awesome. Looks like we have um, mysterious, mysterious Ritual Summons. Uh, use 25 Dragon Stones to summon 5 Elder Kai's. Not worth it. Do not do it. You'll get Kai's through other events and Baba Shops and stages. Do not do this. I promise you. Especially on Global because we get the fr special friend summon here and there. Just grind that out. I promise you. New stages of Extreme Super Battle Road, which is very cool. So we get new stages here. Um, the 46th World Tournament starts Friday the 17th. Always, always around that Heroes time, so that's fine. But all these banners are coming back, guaranteed SSRs. I always recommend going for the actual World Tournament units that you can never pull, like out of the, nor the normal pool of banner units. Like these guys, you can pull on any banner, right? The World Tournament are specifically these banners, so always recommend that. But have fun at the World Tournament. I know we all enjoy that, don't we? Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. It sucks. Change it, Bandai. Um, then some easy A stages come back for Raditz. World Tournament support back. Great. And a bunch of old events are returning. Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how to get the Purunga Dragon Balls, let me know in the comments down below. I sure can make a little guide for that. It's not too hard. But 
Um, real quick tip, if you go on a menu, Shenron, you can click on a Dragon Ball if you're missing it, and it gives you a hint on how to get it. Otherwise, I will make a guide video if you guys want to see it. No problem. But there's a, pretty much the data download. We have the new update live on Global currently, 5.15.0, which is very, very cool. Um, the Link Skill Orb release celebration campaign. So the new item, Link Skill Orbs, which can level up any Link Skills here. Great. Um, the following items can be attained upon the first login. So I've seen a couple of people comment on my videos and posts earlier today on YouTube that they didn't get their Skill Orbs, blah, blah, blah. No, duh, <laughs> right? It's coming at the reset or, you know, when you can log in for the first time after the maintenance. So that's live tonight. I logged in right before I went live on this video and I was able to get my link skill orbs. So enjoy them and use them wisely, right? Use them wisely, enjoy them because I think they do cost money after this. So um, you get 20 large, 30 medium, and 100 small. Plus, starting from Sunday, 1119, a limited attempts event where you can get link skill orbs will be available. Very nice. Once every seven days. Okay. Makes, makes sense. We've had events like that, right? Before in the past. Once every seven days. Once every week. Uh, new merchandise that comes up with Link Skill Orbs is up for sale. Yep. So here's where they try to get your money again. Again, it's a gotcha game. They're trying to get you to spend money, right? It is a company. They need to make money. And they're making a lot right now. <laughs> but Dragonstones with Link Skill Orbs can be purchased twice per month. Okay. Then it uh, looks like we have this is the special event. Come get Link Skill Orbs that can be used to level up Link Skills. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. So there you have it, everyone. I will uh, pretty much leave it there. But there is your kind of a lump sum summary of this whole data download. It was a little bit longer. It was extended a few different times on Global. But hey, it's all right. We're able to get into the game now. You got some new stuff to do. And Heroes is right around the corner. It's going to be awesome, guys. I'm telling you. I'm very excited for Heroes this year. So, All right. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a ton of content with Dokkan Battle specifically coming very, very, well, pretty much every day, right? We also stream over on twitch.tv slash leafgames, double S, some Pokemon stuff and Dragon Ball stuff over there. So feel free to check that out. But I appreciate the support, guys. You guys are awesome. We're almost to 1,000 subs on my channel, and I cannot be more grateful. So thank you for killing it with the support. I appreciate you. And uh, until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye, guys.